Kamchatka. Where in the world is Kamchatka, you may ask yourself. Well, it really is far off, that's what I can tell you. Russia is so big it has 11 time zones, and before there were aeroplanes, the journey from Moscow to Kamchatka took about one year. So yeah, it takes quite some effort to get here, and I'm so glad we came. If you like adventure, this is the right place for you. Kamchatka makes you leave your comfort zone. Bye-bye. Getting around on this peninsula is quite adventurous. Roads are often not really roads. They are narrow, or cold, or wet, or even blocked. Sasha, our experienced driver, always knows the way. Many areas are not accessible by road, so you have to step in one of those impressively big MI-8 helicopters to get where you're going. You take a ride above volcanoes and valleys through the middle of nowhere. And at the end of the world, there is Kuril Lake. What a magic place. That's where the bears live. Many bears. This is our nice and cosy lodge. Here are our protectors, Kostya and Lana. They protect us during our strolls through the dense green. The higher you make the mark, uh -huh. the, the ah. white, the higher, the bigger you are. Yes. The more respect you will get from the others. Oh. You can even see the scraps of fur scratching and leaving their smell there. That's how they can get acquainted with each other without coming too close. Because when you come too close, they can be bad interaction. Kostya doesn't speak much, but he has this big protective aura and it's really calming to know he is close. The bears seem to know him quite well. Maybe he was a bear himself in his past life. Sometimes you meet a bear, maybe sleeping in a bush, or walking through a field, or bracing himself for a plunge in the cold water. I can tell you it is the best thing in the world to be so close and just watch them doing their bear things.
The tour is very well organised and the staff works hard to make it all possible. Larissa the cook accompanies us and surprises us every day with a variety of dishes. It's amazing what she can make in an hour with just two cooking plates. It's hard to believe, but Oksana actually knows an answer to all questions. I tested her every day. Oksana, how many steps do I have to make to the top of the cone? That's easy, 2,361. What's the water temperature of the hot spring? 41 degrees. Oksana, what is this? Sulfur. Oxy, how long is the drive today? It is very long. Oh, yeah. We establish our camp at the foot of Tolbacek, a volcano more than three kilometres high. You feel like you have arrived on another planet. Everything here is big. Kamchatka has more volcanoes than any other region on the planet. 300 volcanoes and 30 of them are active. Each eruption is different and leaves its own fingerprint. Walking on this bizarre ground is like walking on thousands of different pieces of art, each one unique. Somewhere here, they also tested the moon vehicles. The weather can change quickly and in a few minutes the surroundings look completely different. Well, mosquitoes, yeah. When you do come across them, or they come across you, they're always good entertainment. <laughs> the good thing about this trip is its balance. After a few days of adventurous experiences in the wilderness, you come back to a decent hotel. Before you start off again, all batteries charged. From Esso, we go to visit the reindeer people who are herding their animals in the middle of nowhere. The only way to find them is through Roma, who knows the way through the mountains and valleys by heart. I have no idea how he does it. Isn't that a perfect place for camping? The ground is soft, flowers and berries everywhere. And in case a bear might be interested in one of our tents, <gasps> Vitali knows how to take care of him. I have a lot of respect for these men from the Evan tribe. I cannot really imagine how hard it must be to live this life. Just a handful of tough men take care of their herd of 1,300 reindeer. What a sight. We are so far from civilization. They have to be self-sufficient to survive. Imagine you walk back to the yurt and you forget something that you need from the supermarket. Oxy, how far is it to the next supermarket? Oh, that's very close, only 10 centimeter on the map. Salamini, Texomini, It's Billy Oldenbolden, Bobo, 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 B
gute Nacht. Und wenn heute jemand schnarcht, dann zünde ich das Zelt an. Wow. Oh, ist das schön. Now we go to Mutnovsky, one of Kamchatka's 30 active volcanoes. This lake is about 40 meters deep. So <laughs> if, if the ice breaks, <laughs> we have to swim. Today we don't see much of Mudnovsky. The indigenous people would say the volcano has gone for a walk. Es ist hart, aber wir sind hart im Nehmen. Das Scheißhaus ist ein bisschen weit weg. 50 Meter und man ist flotschnass. Und dann ist es noch besetzt. Aber es ist trotzdem schön. Man muss es erlebt haben. You might even experience a nice ice storm and feel like an early explorer for a day. In two weeks, we have had intense experiences and made many friends. The lost world of Kamchatka has much to offer if you are ready for an unforgettable adventure.